caravan came a few days back. Worked for old man Stockton. Mark my words, I'll get to the bottom of this. visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. I might take a look. It ain't that simple. We don't just let anyone in. Whatever. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's gotta take it. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yelled, I'd say up yours too, buddy. You'd say that? Hmm. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. Welcome to Covenant. The caravan came a few days back. Worked for old man Stockton. You saw them, right? I already told you. I don't recollect. We get a lot of traffic. This isn't Diamond City. A caravan of five comes through, you'd remember. Then they must not have come through. Say, wouldn't you rather have a lemon? <laughs> from around here? God, I hope not. You, uh, you have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? Oh, sure. I know all about... Uh, who was that again? <sighs> You're as bad as the rest of these idiots. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. My job here is drinking lemonade. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark my words. I'll get to the bottom of this. Why does one tiny settlement need so much firepower? The caravan was hit awfully close to Covenant, all right. Deezer's Lemonade. Never heard of it. Hey, your thoughts? I just want my son back. Well, hello. Hi. I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. If you ask me, I think he takes his job too seriously. As soon as you but welcome. Every mm -hmm. You're awfully chipper. Looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Mrs. Grumpy Pants. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Do you have time for a few questions? For you? Hmm, <laughs> certainly. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot if you ask me. Why would he do that? Some people are just jealous when they see others leading a better life. And they'd like nothing better than to drag everyone down to their level. And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the Commonwealth a better, safer place. Right? He should be thankful you let him in. Instead, he stomps around interrogating people. If the compound did do something to his precious caravan, they had reasons for it. Better reasons than a man like him. Hmm. You know, honey, I... I was just shooting off at the mouth. Just forget anything I said about that and the compound. I have to go. Mm -hmm. 
busted again? The third radio this month. Ted better get on this pronto. Another newcomer. Welcome. That's some serious security. Maybe there's another way around it. Got it. After a long day, nothing. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? No. Still looking. Well, I guess we both keep digging. We don't tolerate violence or vulgarity. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. What rash decisions are you talking about? Maybe your next destination doesn't appreciate trespassers. Just come out and say what you mean. Maybe you heard a rumor about Stockton's caravan and a certain compound? So, hypothetically, let's say there's something to that. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what, you just stop this investigation, and I'll give you a gift. One hundred caps. And then you'd be welcome back here as our friend any time. Surely there's room for compromise. I get Stockton's survivors, and we stay... friends? I'd have to know more, though. You don't actually buy everything he's saying, do you? That's a tall order. A deal like that, well, that's above my pay grade. Tell you what, I'll let the Kampa know you're coming. Then you can make your case to them. Good luck. Scare the fish, asshole. Just because Jacob vouched for you doesn't mean you can enter the compound. Why should I? I just want to talk with whoever's in charge here. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. We'll see. I'll take her to Dr. Chambers. She can decide what to do with you. Don't try anything funny. You've been warned. Excuse me. Watch it. Self. Hey, Blight! Yes, what is it, Manny? I thought you guys were done with Subject 12. Oh, yes, the interview's over. I'm just reviewing the data on Question 4. It's fascinating, really. Yeah, I'm sure. Certainly. Hi. Stranger. Hey, extend the platform. Warden Center. So the one investigating Stockton's caravan has arrived. Right. No matter. Let me be upfront about this. There are two ways this meeting can end. We come to an agreement, or there's violence. I'd prefer a peaceful solution. As would I. 
Let me pose a question to you. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? I've been there. But I haven't resorted to torturing innocents. Casualties are inevitable. It may not look like it, but we're at war. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? A war, really? Is it that bad? Hundreds of kidnappings over the years. Ask the survivors if it's really that bad. You can't seriously want to kill all the synths. We most certainly do, but we have to find them first. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. And the safe test works? Oh, yes. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. It is distasteful, but necessary. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. Don't kill the girl. Spare her. Let her go. She's not a synth. Impossible. The odds are too great she's an Institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, Sparing her can compromise everything. First, the loose end. Hi. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. It's all I'm right. Safe. You're I'm safe now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm Amelia Stockton. I'm not a synth. As promised. You'll find I believe you. I just want this nightmare to end. My father, old man Stockton, he will reward you. Just let me out. Please. Oh, thank goodness. I'm free. I'm never ever coming back here. Hey. I thought I'd never get out of there. What does Covenant need now? Dr. Chambers. If my projections are correct, the next version will be 1% more accurate. You'll find I'm... If you're here about the missing caravan, the contract's already been picked up. Excuse me. There you are. You're the one that rescued my Amelia. From what she told me, it sounds just horrible. Just horrible. Dr. Chambers said Amelia was a synth. Is that true? Is that what they said? That whole compound sounds insane. Amelia's my daughter, and that is that. You've helped my family out dearly. And for that, you deserve a reward. I had hired a mercenary to do the job. <laughs> Clearly, I should have hired you instead, eh? Thank you. <gasps> this place looks too good.
Hi. Dr. Chambers filled me in on you, Archangel. I can't tell you how relieved we are. Everyone in Covenant has suffered dearly at the Institute's plan. We all believe in the mission, but outsiders may not clearly see the sacrifices that are necessary to protect the Commonwealth. I'd like to help further, if I can. Actually, I was wanting to help you. We'd be honored to fly the Minuteman flag and contribute further to the safety and welfare of the Commonwealth. Stay as long as you like, friend. We're practically family. 